So I had a assignment question come up about understanding layer masking. Um, this is one of the resources that has been provided for the class. Uh, and I decided to go ahead and open it up and use it specifically for this little uh, video lesson. So layer masking involves basically adding a mask and using the uh, brush tool, using the uh, colors of white and black to uh, either extract, pull from the image, or add it back. You have to have the layer selected over here. Um, if you, as you can see, I have the man layer selected. And down here in the bottom right corner, you're going to notice that there is a add layer mask option. It's right by your uh, visual effects blending modes option. Okay, but it's right here. It looks like this, like the third one from the uh, left. So I'm going to add it. Now, once this is added, we have added our mask. And as you can see, over here, the two colors that we are allowed to use is black and white. Now, I have the mask selected, okay, for this man. So what I'm going to be able to do here is I'm going to use the black, and if I use the brush tool, okay, which is also hotkey B, I can cut out what is not needed as far as um, making this work, where we want to move this man behind the desk and use the layer mask where we're going to cut out this area, okay, of his legs. So another thing I do is we have the mask select. I'm going to select back on the actual image of him that's in the layer, and then that gives me control back using the selection tool, which is up here in Photoshop. The selection tool is right here, the move tool. And I just cl uh, click and, and drag and move this man wherever he needs to be within the environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him where I, I, I want him as it references the learning of the, uh, the assignment. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the mask now. You have to have it selected. And then with the black option available, it's going to allow me to wipe it out. I can switch back and forth if I click this little arrow. And I can paint it back or I can take it out. Okay, but we want to take it out. So I'm going to go up to the brush tool. And then up in the brush properties, I can adjust my size and dimension I want. Let's say 30 looks pretty good. I always like to do a hardness of 50 when I do layer masking. And then I'm just going to click and drag across this area that's not needed. And we're going to basically. show only what we want to see. Um, what I can also do is zoom in. So the magnifying glass is right here, the zoom tool. And I'm just going to select it, then left click, and we're going to zoom in. I can uh, grab the uh, hand tool, okay, which is H. And I can click and drag and kind of pan around. Okay, I still have mask selected, so I can go back to my brush tool. I can switch it back to white, and now I can paint back. If you see, I, I cut out a little too much of that area. So I can go back up and adjust my dimension, and I could just paint back with the white. Get a little bit more uh, fine tuned. I can use the hand tool again to click and drag back to uh, the brush tool. got some areas here so I'll cut it out then paint back so we can leave we still need okay I can uh, lessen my brush size a little bit down more I can draw it back a little bit and voila it's done. I'm going to grab the zoom tool. And if you, you can see up here, I can go to the minus option once that tool is selected. And then just left click. Zoom back out. And as you can see, the guy is now behind the desk, which is uh, exactly what we're trying to accomplish here. I could probably uh, zoom in a little bit more and uh, clean this up a little bit better with the brush tool. As you can see, it still is kind of coming. A little bit over the edge, a little bit too much more. Let's see, yeah, like that. Ah, and that looks pretty good. That's why I like using uh, brush feather edge of 50 when I'm doing my layer masking. 
keep in mind that throughout the course I'll be posting my Photoshop tutorials. Um, I posted them already in discussion one and I'll go ahead and create another post in uh, discussion two. But a lot of uh, what I cover in my uh, Photoshop tutorials and tricks on my YouTube channel that you can watch covers just like what I was specifying about the uh, layer masking. And it has many, many other different kind of tricks and methods that you can take advantage of as you uh, build your assignments. Okay? Great.